This Friday marks 10 years since two Charlotte Mecklenburg police officers were shot and killed in the line of duty. Eyewitness News anchor Blaine Tollison was there today as their fellow officers shared memories that they still hold on to. This week, CFPD is preparing to honor the lives of Sean Clark and Jeff Shelton, officers who worked with them and are still with CMPD today say that they will always be remembered as great men who weren't afraid to run toward danger. Around almost every turn at CMPD's North Tryon Division, there's a reminder of officers Sean Clark and Jeff Shelton. We'll never forget their sacrifice. In 2007, officers Shelton and Clark responded to a domestic violence call at the Timber Ridge Apartments. Demetrius Montgomery shot Shelton and Clark in the back as they were walking away after resolving the call. Montgomery had nothing to do with the domestic violence situation and never said why he pulled the trigger. Captain Michelle Hummel got the call that night. They were both prior military, served their country, uh, and they were serving their community, and they died doing what they loved. Both Shelton and Clark had close friends in the police department. Officer Yvette McNeil worked with Shelton, and both shared birthdays in the month of September. And there's been times I broke down, and it's just been hard. So especially around our birthdays, it, it affects me every year. Lieutenant Mike Abundanza knew both officers and can't believe 10 years have passed. He misses the men he loved working with. Good at the job, good at being police officers, and great family men too. As their memory lives on, their deaths will always be a painful reminder of the ultimate price some officers pay. We definitely never forget. Um, we try every day to remember and, and continue their legacy and their honor. CMPD is planning a more formal memorial on Friday, the actual 10-year anniversary. From CMPD's North Tryon Division, Blaine Tollison, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Three years after the murders, Montgomery was convicted of two counts of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. Channel 9 has posted slideshows from the scene and the memorials all at WSOCTV.com.